what goes on people welcome to den night and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the kotobukiya obelisk the tormentor egyptian god statue now if you've been watching my channel for a little you know i've already done the slifer of the sky dragon and winged dragon of raw statues so this is going to be the last in the set finally the last been wanting to complete this set for a while now so there's a nice visual on the side of the box of the statue uh, as you can see from the trend all three of them on the back with whoever the actual statue is in the center and touching on what I've mentioned a few times because I've never paid attention till now all three of them have blue like forehead gems which I thought they kind of like staggered who had what color but they're all blue anyway there's another visual of the statue and back to the front with the very cool visual very nice artwork I hate getting rid of boxes like that but I don't have anywhere to store boxes that aren't holding something so fortunately in the trash it goes after this anyway let's get them out of the box so here we got them out of the box um, we'll start with these obviously the instructions I'm not gonna completely throw them away because Ra burned me on that one but I don't think there's really much to this one fortunately or unfortunately uh, right off the bat he stands on his own doesn't even need the stand right out of the box I'm sure once all the other stuff gets added that's gonna change but this is definitely the first one that the body itself didn't need some assembly and was just freestanding so obviously generic stand uh, I don't know what these are for I'm going to assume something with the stand because they're the exact dimensions of those two holes but uh, another weird thing is unlike the others this comes with a swappable part so you can either do two fists or I don't know which arm switch is probably this one this looks like the switching one just because of the gap but I will just glance at the instructions before I break anything and obviously we got the wings to be honest this is the one I thought would be the, the least impressive I guess but so far this is in competition with Slifer to be the most impressive to me anyway before I break and put them together break you know what I mean cut and put them together I just wanted to note that on his wings he has like this kind of textury thing to make him look like stone I guess and I think that continues yes continues all over his body so very nice touch um, I will try to assemble him right here but with yeah that didn't go too well for the other two so we'll see how that works so I'm gonna jump jump on a limb here and say those go, those go in there if I'm wrong I don't know how I'm gonna get them out but I'm pretty sure I'm right because those holes are the same size I don't like that but so as per the usual I can't do it one-handed so quick cut and cut back to the assembled statue uh, honestly he's a little heavy for this cheap base and if you look close it's probably not going to pick up on camera but just the weight of him is actually pushing down in the center here so <laughs> I guess that's a good thing that he's that quality and he's he is very very a, a very substantial statue he's got some weight to him um, and the hands do pull right out and something interesting you don't see very often is it's a it's just a round peg rather than you know a certain shape that limits how you can put it in so once you have it in this thing's fucking sharp too you can actually rotate his hand a little bit too because it's a round peg so a little weird it's nice that you have some choice but it's kind of weird on something this 
non-posable to have a swappable hand. I'm probably going to leave it like that. I think it looks better with the open hand down there. So we can do a quick once around of everything. So we'll start with the head. Obviously just like the other three, that blue gem on the forehead. And you can see on his face, just a lot of detail. The cracked kind of skin everywhere. Very demonic looking. I always liked how the other two were like clearly dragons and then this one it has wings but it doesn't have the dragon look it almost looks like some kind of weird uh, love child between maybe like Exodia and one of the other gods I've always liked the look of him I can't say he's my favorite I think it's a close matchup between him and Slifer but they're totally different designs so it's hard to pick and I think my bias is coming through in the statues a little bit too, because Raw is definitely my least favorite of the statues. Uh, you can see, and there's even, I don't think it's going to pick up on camera, but there's even different shades, like shading in the blue. I know it just, at first looks like everything's just one, one uh, particular shade of blue, but there is like shadowing and texturing. Very impressive. And just a little crack, stone looking thing everywhere. Very sharp blades everywhere. The wing's a little too close to this one for my comfort. It's not quite touching, but it's like, you could probably fit a sheet of paper between there, it's so close. Um, this isn't statue particular, but I've always appreciated with Obelisk, how he's got a lot of girth to him, but his legs match that. He doesn't have little chicken legs and then a big upper body. I know some of this is like an armor piece too, because obviously he has muscle texture in his upper thigh. And this is like, looks like a piece of armor, but you can see even in the armor, it's like textured to look like a huge calf muscle. and. Good design, I just like it. And he's got huge ass feet. That weathered rock look all over his wings. Which, to be honest, it's kind of one of those weird things. Why does he have wings? It doesn't look like he could fly. He's just, he doesn't look very aer aerodynamic at all. You ever noticed he had like a tail thing. That's kind of cool. Like a split tail. Looks like an armor piece though. It almost looks like he was a dragon and then he just became like cursed somewhat and turned into this abomination. It's a very cool design overall. The trident kind of thing for his forehead with the two regular dragon like horns. I'm not a diehard Yu Gi Oh fan, but I'm sure there's a lot of lore behind him, maybe, I hope, as to why he is the way he is. That's something I would like to look up. But I also think it's cool he's got all these armor things like the shoulder pads, obviously the lower uh, lower leg things that I can't remember the name of, and the greaves, I think these are greaves, around his forearms. And then like he basically has no protection on his upper legs or his entire chest. Oh, he's got some head movement too. It's nice discovering things by accident. So you can kind of make him look wherever you want to. Good touch. Nice touch. Okay. So, overall, very nice piece. Um, the other two mediums, I was asked about dimensions just because he is so substantial. So, luckily, I have a tape measure down here, so I'll get that ahead of time. So, floor to the tip of his wing, about 14 and a half inches. Um, let's just say 
It's probably easier from the back, huh? Wingspan. Sorry about the shaky cam. Honestly, just a little bit under 11 wingspan. And then depth. I guess we'll measure. I'd say about 10 to be safe. So, very substantial. I'd say you need about a foot in every direction at least to display them properly. And if you've seen my other videos, you know I've had to move all the statues to a different showcase because my regular one just wasn't deep enough for, I think it was when I got raw, and Slifer barely fit. So, now they're in kind of their own showcase. And with that said, let's get them in the showcase and take a look. And here we got Obelisk in the showcase. Um, as you can see, I still didn't get around to putting the lights in this cabinet, unfortunately, so bad reflections. I really wanted to get it done before Obelisk was in here, but I just ran out of time, unfortunately. So maybe when I do get the lights in eventually, I'll just do a quick update video just so everyone can see how different it looks. Anyway, here we have all three and I think you know who the last video is going to be. <laughs> so with that said, like, comment, subscribe, do all those YouTube things, share this with any Yu-Gi-Oh fans you may know, and as always, keep collecting. Bye.